This week's Torah portion is called Pinchas and revolves around a gentleman by the name of Pinchas. Pinchas was a zealot. In fact, he rose up and he slew the ringleaders of a sexual orgy. And in turn, God rewarded him with the Brit Shalom, the covenant of peace. Now, obviously, that's a very important question that's raised here. Does the Torah advocate for vigilantism? Actually not. God determined that in this particular case, Pinchas was acting in what is called L'Shem Shamayim, for the sake of heaven. That's right, he was personally aggrieved by the outrageous behavior of the people of Israel, and especially the spiritual condition of the people, which was growing worse and worse each day. But we need to also put this story into context. Remember that in ancient times, we were in the desert. There were no real effective methods of communication. It's not like today, if you see some people doing some very bad things, we take to Facebook or we take to Instagram and we say, hey, you guys cut it out and we get 5,000 likes and all these retweets and reposts and all of this kind of stuff. That wasn't the case in those days. You didn't even have a printing press. So Pinchas really had no alternative but to exercise this form of holy vigilantism, so to speak. But by today's standards, I think we need to take a very different approach as it relates to being a hero. As you well know, lots of folks in society are on edge. They are irate. And there's lots of heated arguments going around in regard to politics, etc. We today need to take the position that it is possible for both a Democrat and Republican to have dinner together uh, in spite of our differences. We can go out to the ball game together even if we disagree with the latest Supreme Court decision. We need to demonstrate that we are interested in unity and peace and in that way, we will win the contemporary Brit Shalom, the covenant of peace. May we all be blessed with peace on this Shabbat. I'm Rabbi Shlomo Siegel. Shabbat Shalom.